All right, what's going on, guys? Um, <clears throat> I know it's been a while since I've done a, um, a video, but um, today I got a Tech Warehouse unboxing, but some stuff. I got a tournament this Saturday, and I was wanting to some stuff, so I needed to get some stuff. I got a pretty good bit of stuff here. Pretty good sized box, so uh, let's go ahead and get into it if I can find the top. All right, well, let's do this side. Well, I believe that's the bottom, so. So first off, um, Sim's supposed to be about 50, 57 on Saturday, and um, it's a pretty good temp. Got some good spotted, I believe, off the rocks. And um, dang it, I forgot what I was to say. Oh, and um, I didn't have any drop shot tackle. So I got some drop shot tackle here. Let's <coughs> separate all of it. I think that's all the drop shot stuff I got, I believe. Yep, that's all the drop shot stuff. Alright, so first off, I've got two packs of Big Bite Baits, um, Shaking Squirrel, um, 4.5 inch worms, and Ayu, I believe. It's got like a line of silver. Oh, it's pretty cool. A line of silver, like a pearlish silver, then a line of like a, a bronze, and then like a, a watermelon with micro flake. I'm going to get some more light here. Okay. Alright. You got like a micro flake in there. <clears throat> and then next ones I got are another shaking squirrel and bold gill, which is basically like a black. I'm going to take them out. I'm take one out. Got that big bite bite, um, big bite bait juice on it. All right, so it's got like a chartreuse, and like a forest green like color, right there. So um, I'll go ahead and rig these up as soon as I get off here. I need to get ready for the tournament. I haven't even pre-fished yet. <coughs> and then I got two packs of weights. I got a quarter ounce drop shot weights and half ounce drop shot weights for deep drop shotting. Then I got my favorite drop shot hooks, sure set, um, made of vanadium steel. They're by VMC. I got some in size one and in one, eye, which I believe might be a little big for what I'm trying to do and where I'm going to be fishing them, but they'll work. Then I got three jigs by Conquistador, and I got them all at 3 8 of an ounce, and um, they came with trailers so first one is the black is in bluegill yeah it's in bluegill which is basically like a black it's black and blue with a gray it's sort of like a smoke gray um skirt material that's a nice jig um, i'm definitely going to be trimming up the uh the weed guard though. I mean it's a really soft weed guard too. So there we go. That's in the bluegill, which is basically a black and blue. And then it came with a matching trailer. Right here. Um, it has like an scent in the material or in the plastic. <coughs> so I got that in bluegill, black and red or delta red. And PB and J, which is probably the one I'm gonna tie on, or actually I might tie on the um the bluegill. Then give a fishing line out the way. I got three spools of line. I got two 300 yard spools of 10 pound. Well, I got a 300 yard spool of eight pound test. I wanted 600, but I didn't see it. I think they were out. 
10 pound test fluorocarbon p-line fluoro carrier which is the only fluorocarbon I'll use and then 50 pound power pro just because they were um, I usually run p-line tcb8 braid but they were all out of 50 and 65 pound and I need it for this next rig that I got <coughs> and um, that rig is a um, eco pro roll tide burst which is basically a small Alabama rig it's the um, junior version of their Alabama rig so here it is right here I'm not gonna take it out right now because I gotta tie it on there in a minute so I'll do a video on this later <clears throat> and then to go on it I got the um, squadron umbrella rig accessory kit by Strike King and it came with the quarter ounce jig heads and I believe this is in um, green gizzard shad <clears throat> Then I got this some, um, I believe, what is that? You know, 5 16th ounce bullet weights, 3 eighths, and that's all the bullet weights I got. Um, then I got some 3 aught um, VMC wide gap hooks. These are just a regular wide gap hooks, they aren't the heavy duty um, wide gap hooks. And then I got some in 4 aught. <coughs> Next, I got two 6XDs here, extra deep diving crankbaits. Um, they dive 19 feet and beyond, so that's going to be good. Um, there's like a 30 foot, it's about 30, I think it's a 30 foot um, spot right at the mouth of this creek that drops off. There's a ledge there, but right off of that ledge are some, um, there's some like sunken laydowns there. So, um, I always get good bites down there, but I always get snagged. So, I want something that um, I can fish right above the laydowns. And then I got some three quarter ounce football jigs um, in my tackle bag that I got a few weeks ago that I'm also going to be throwing on top of those laydowns. So, um, the first one I got is in Shad. I've been looking at this color for a minute and I love it. It's a really good Shad imitation. It's pretty much like an exact Shad color right there. And, um,. <clears throat> I got a, I got um another one here in sexy blueback herring or sexy herring, right there. Pretty much a sexy shad with like a gill pattern going along the side of it. It's a pretty good color pattern. And then last but not least, I got the new Strike King Sugar Buzz here. Um, I thought I got it in black. I sworn I ordered it in black, but this color I guess will do. Um, it's the Swinging Sugar Buzz. It's what it's called. Let me go ahead and take it out here. Basically, when it means swinging sugar or swinging, the hook on the buzz bait swings. It's got a little connected right there. You know, um, it's got a little lead holder right here for if you want to change out your skirt or you want to just throw a soft plastic on the back um, and it's got your weight right here which I believe might be tungsten it looks like tungsten it feels like it's possibly tungsten um, let me see it doesn't say but yeah you got that silver blade there and I like it because you can slow roll this but um, one thing I'm not liking right now is I'm gonna already have to bend the blade because it's knocking against the weight now, I'm going to check online to see if it's actually supposed to be like this or if it's supposed to be straight. But otherwise, I'm just going to see if easy fix. But, yeah. comes in water like that. <clears throat> it goes through the water like that. So, you are you get a way better hookup ratio. And then on these ones, it also has a bait guard for if you want to put a trailer on there. I don't fish buzz baits with trailers at all. Never really have. I mean, I'll switch it out with a swim bait every now and then. But, I never really have used a trailer. But um yeah, that's everything guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs and get my rods and everything ready for this tournament. And um yeah. Uh look be looking for a new video coming soon. Um actually no, I already got that. <laughs> um I 